the movies or watch television lately? Well, tough women are in, and today we're going to teach you how to be tough with the help of a very tough and beautiful lady. The world women's kickboxing champion is here, and you'll find out how to fight off a mugger. We'll meet some tough lady private eyes who say that being a woman makes it easier to be a sleuth. And, you know, I can really relate to these gals because I am, well, I'm known as kind of a tough cookie myself. Would you like to see me take a punch? No problem. Uh, Debbie, come on in. Stop woman. All right, I'm ready. Uh, 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 well, one second here. Stunt double, please. Here we go. Okay, Debbie, go ahead. Give me your best shot. <laughs> hey, I said I was tough, not crazy. two of Hollywood's uh, great stunt women, and we're going to meet them later on. It, but you know, now women have come a long way from the role of frightened little victims, and today we're going to show you just how far we have come. We're going to meet some of the dangerous women of the world, and uh, the kind that uh, no men really want to mess with. No, nobody around here has been wanting to mess with them, really. Now, do you believe this? It is a part of a whole new wave of awareness, and with it, a new line of products we're going to see today. And first, let's meet a truly remarkable young lady who may become the female version of Rambo, they're saying. Her debut film is called Nights. It's with Chris Christopherson, and you're going to see that later on this year. She is the woman's kickboxing champion. This is a dangerous lady. Long's trying to finish her off here in the final round. Can she score a knockout? Obviously, Kathy Long wants the knockout. She would love to do it in front of this big crowd here in Las Vegas. Oh, right hand. <laughs> Please welcome Kathy Long. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my word. And, well, listen, you needed to learn to defend yourself, right? My next guest is the author of this book, armed and female, and she teaches women how to get themselves out of tough situations. This is something every woman should know now, girls. Please welcome Paxton Quigley. You're such a pretty gal, too. You're both so pretty. The first thing I notice is your I mean, how you're totally muscular, and you said you don't lift weights a lot. No, I just got started about three weeks ago. Mostly, it's just from the kickboxing. Yes, it is. Absolutely amazing. Now, I'm just dying to know, have you ever had to use this in your personal life? Have you ever beaten the crap out of anybody? Like... <laughs> well, um, I did have an incident on the freeway one time where I had to defend myself. Um, what happened? What well, happened? The gentleman uh, was in the fast lane. I was behind him. There were other cars in the other lanes. He wouldn't move over, so I waited and waited and waited, and I guess I tailgated just a little. Um, but uh, finally, someone in the slow lane moved over. I went around. He tried for about five miles to run me off the road, run me into other people. I was yelling and screaming profanity, showing his IQ on one finger. And uh, <laughs> finally, he said, pull over. And I thought, OK, I've got an hour before I'm home. Um, you know, I can put up with this guy for another hour or go ahead and pull over. So I did. I pulled over. It's probably not a bright thing to do. Um, but he Don't try this at don't home. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but he got out of the car yelling and screaming. I said, you know, excuse me, is there a problem? And uh, he said, yeah, there's a, there's a problem. And he went to slap me. I just ducked under it and shoved him. Uh, he came running at me to hit me. How dare you do that? And I just took my knee and I hit him in the solar plexus right in through here. It just evacuated all the air from him. And he dropped to the ground, much like a sack of potatoes drops to the ground when you have it in your Well, hand. when your air gets <laughs> evacuated, yeah, these things happen. And, uh, well, I, I knelt down next to him and I said, look, if you relax and calm down, in about a minute you should be able to breathe. If, if. <laughs> <laughs> and I left him. Oh, Kath, can yeah. we carpool? Sure. Gosh, that would be Absolutely. great fun on the freeways of L.A. Now, Paxton, you are busy teaching people all about self-defense. Yes, and personal protection. And you got interested by, I'm just admiring how cute that is. Oh, thank you. Uh, because a friend of yours was raped? Is this what yes, happened? Yes, she was raped in her, in her bedroom at 2 in the morning, and I had to come and take care of her. The police came much too late. And uh, I looked at what happened to her, and I decided that I wanted to learn how to take care of myself. And I thought about a gun. And I asked her, if you had had a gun, would you have been able to use it for self-defense? And she thought about it, and she said yes. 
And so I was anti-gun, never touched a gun, feared guns. Well, we're going to talk about that yes. later, but right now we're going to see, a, a tell us about impact, what is it called, impact personal? Impact, yes, it's impact personal empowerment, and they teach women how to uh, fight. And they're going to yeah. come out here and... and we're uh, going to see some of that now. So uh, why don't you come, on, come out. on out? This is... This is Sylvia, who's going to be the fighter, and we have a referee, and there's the mugger. Now look at this. you would not want to mess with. I'm just curious, Kathy, do you have trouble getting dates? Um, sometimes men are a little intimidated. You, you, get, you hear the, the usual, gosh, I wouldn't want to meet her in a dark alley, or I wouldn't want to piss her off. And I Where think, do you yeah. meet guys? At the, at the gym? or yeah, At the gym. Uh, it, generally, I'm at the gym so darn much. Uh, I don't really have a lot of time to, uh, to date with men or anything like that, but it's, it's okay. How did you get started kickboxing? Uh, I got started, um, I guess about five years ago, there was a girl in town studying karate, and uh, I did kung fu, which, and of course we were a very rival, big rivalry there, because you know, we didn't care for each other's styles. Uh, but she'd also done kickboxing, and she kind of as a dare, you know, asked me to do this exhibition with her. Um, the catch was she weighed over 190 pounds. Big girl. Big girl, five foot four. Shorter than Whoa, me, but, big but woman. huge, yeah. <laughs> so I, I went ahead and did it, um, and afterwards, uh, she decided to retire, and I decided that it was something that I really liked, and I wanted to continue doing it. I wanted to learn how to do it right. That's, I see, I admire you guys, because I always feel like, you know, like Al and I took self-defense for a while, and I was doing really well, and Al was really proud of me, and we were in New York one night having dinner with friends, and granted, yes, I had had a couple glasses of wine, but I left the table, and Al said to our friend, the, the male friend, Bill, he said when she comes back from the ladies' room, jump her, and you'll see how wonderfully well she's really <laughs> oh, doing no. at her self-defense. Well, of course he did, and in the lobby of the Park Lane Hotel, I just stood there going, ow, ow! <laughs> it's awful. I lost all my aggression. Did he leave? Well, with everybody started laughing. Oh, I mean, it was pretty funny. I didn't self-defend at all. Well, if it was a stranger, you might have done a little better. I don't know, but you think? Well, if you had, it's also if you had a little more practice, it would probably. Yeah, be maybe too. so. I'm, but I think I'm a chicken at heart. <laughs> now I, I want to. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> we're back and we're talking with dangerous women today. We're trying to get some ideas on how to defend ourselves. Uh, we have private investigators here with us. And incidentally, that clip was of, uh, of Kathy. You were doubling Michelle Pfeiffer and that was Batman Returns, yeah? Yes. Fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Have you gotten hurt doing this? Uh, not the movies, but certainly in fighting, I've had uh, each of my hands broken, my ribs broken, my shin fractured, my nose broken. Yeah, I've had Movies a are a lot easier. A lot huh? easier. <laughs> I want to go... Just a minute, I'm going to go up and ask a lady a question, because I want to know what the girls have to say here. Stand up. What's your question? Kathy, besides kickboxing, what else do you do when you're not doing nothing? Uh, I teach at Eric Nolan's Academy of Martial Arts. We, uh, the kung fu that we teach her is very self-defense oriented. We stick our fingers in the eyes, grab the groin, break the knees. We have locks, throws, leverages. Um, and I have my black belt in that as well. So I, I do a lot of teaching there. Such a pretty thing, too, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to come over here. Oh, OK. <laughs> Dangerous women. We've got kickboxers. We've got stunt women. We've got PIs. Now, I, well, let's get back to your question. If you're waving the keys around in the guy's face, and what now? I want to know if the guy grabbed your hand while you're doing that. What would you do? How you defend yourself after he grabbed your From hand? From there, you really have to go ahead and fight. You could probably get a good, you know, couple swipes in. But that's why impact is so important because it teaches you how to fight. You got to get that follow through after the keys, huh? What? what about kicking him in his groin? That's what I always say. It's you know? not so easy to kick a guy in the groin. It's not so no. easy? It's a small area. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> Did you want to say something, Kathy? I was just saying if the gentleman grabs your arm, you do have your other hand free. You can claw to the eyes or grab to the groin. It's a lot more effective and since certainly a lot more practical. It's more accurate, I guess. Certainly. Huh? <laughs> Did you ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Stand up. Um, I have a question for Paxton. 
I have a real phobia of guns, and I want to... Yeah, it's hard. it takes time, don't you think? It, it takes just time, takes and it's time. not that hard. It really isn't that hard. It's this fear that you have, yeah. and once you overcome that fear, it will be fine. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Stand up. Hi, this question is for Kathy. I was wondering uh, if uh, you were wanted to to, to uh, star in, in a movie with any of the male box office kickboxers, like, you know, Steven Seagal and so on and so forth. What I want who, 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 yeah, yeah. Who, which one would you would like to have? Uh... Gosh, I think it'd be fun to, to start with any, any one of them. It'd be great. Yeah. You're a, you, a lot of interest in you from the Hollywood community here of late, no? Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, there is. I, uh... So what's going on that's exciting? Um, I'm meeting with a lot of people. Uh, I've had so many meetings, I, I'm almost forgetting who, who I've been meeting with. But uh, the past two weeks, there's, there's definitely been a lot of stir, a lot of interest. We're going to be looking for you. I listen. Who, who had a question? Stand up. <laughs> Kathy, we didn't get to talk to you too much about the self-defense thing, but I know you study it a lot. Yes, what kind of kung fu do you study? Uh, it's a, the basis is a southern Chinese system. It, it's a very eclectic system. You know, we don't just study one thing. Uh, we have we take in concepts from all those all styles of martial arts. But what is it called? If we want to enroll in what you take? Oh, it's it's at Eric Nolan's Academy of Martial Arts in Bakersfield, California. It's called Giao Bak Gik. G Giao Bak Gay. Gik. Yeah. Who? <laughs> Who? You don't have to worry about the name. You just have to worry okay. about what, the, what you learn. And the and translation is uh, kick him in the ass. No limitations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No limitations. Free fighting. No rules. Just, uh, no rules. No hey, rules. girls, this is my kind of class. Listen, I hope you're all thinking about self-defense and uh, inquire and mind your hindquarters, girls. Check those.